Welcome to the Lucky Sheep Organic Wool Sleeping Bag. The first organic natural fiber sleeping bag on the market that's light enough to carry backpacking. I'm carrying two of the Lucky Sheep sleeping bags in this backpack here. And uh, I'm going to take them out and show you how they work. I have a Lucky Sheep backpack, expedition pack here that I'm using. I'm going to put the ground cloth down. And the cool thing about the Lucky Sheep sleeping bag is that, um, like, you know, down. Down doesn't work when it's wet, does it? I mean, everyone knows that. So with down, you're usually trying to kind of protect it from moisture, and you're and you're trying to be in your tent and and you know worrying about the, the rain building up on it, and um and so you know that's kind of a problem, as you know, and that's why wool works so well because wool is the opposite wool is hydro wool is hydrophilic that means it it loves water that means wool wicks the moisture so well that it, you dry out as you sleep if if it does get wet and you don't have to worry about zipping yourself up in a tent so much because because uh you know if it if it can get moist and it still works then you can be out in the open air more. You can be in a tarp sleeping where you get more fresh air than a tent. And um, sleeping in a tarp is uh, has a lot of advantages because the main thing is that you don't build up humidity from your own body um, moisture, breath and stuff. The thing about sleeping with wool is that you get this warm, fuzzy feeling. And that it, it's different than a clammy feeling you get from a synthetic bag a synthetic uh, fiber bag filled with down, it gives you that clammy feeling. And um, it doesn't matter how, you know, that just happens because uh, that those kind of bags trap moisture near your skin. And then that, that builds up and then you, you just feel that moisture because the moist air is colder than dry air. So the Lucky Sheep sleeping bag, it wicks moisture away from your body constantly. And so you always have that fuzzy, warm, fuzzy feeling. And, um, and so um, the, the, um, the Lucky Sheep comes in uh, two different models. One is called the Rewilder and one is called the uh, Tree Hugger. So the Rewilder would be the one of choice for backpacking and most serious camping because the reason why, because it it's actually has a merino liner. That means the inside fabric is merino. And so you want that merino near your skin to be the ultimate moisture wicking that you can get. And now look how, this is how, you know, big it is. It can be compressed a little more. It's about 11 inches by 11 inches and, and it weighs three and a half pounds for the bag that goes down to 20 degrees. So um, the one that goes to, um, to, to 10 degrees weighs five pounds. So, that extra 10 degrees, you, it, it puts on about a pound and a half. The Lucky Sheep sleeping bag does weigh, definitely weighs more than a down sleeping bag. However, it works better. You sleep better, you feel better, and you stay dry. And, you know, a lot of people go out to the woods because, you know, we want to balance. We, you know, we, we like to hike and, and make a lot of miles on the trail. And, um, but we also want to feel good. We want to have a good experience and we want to be safe because, um, you know, when, when it's moist, cold and moist, um, there's nothing like wool. So, um, so, so this is the, this is the, this is a medium sized rewilder 20 degree bag. And it compresses down and with the straps and uh, 
so how did how did lucky sheep make a sleeping bag out of wool that weighs so little well the trick is it's in the design because we what we did was we we used a new concept that's out out there where you don't put you don't put um, insulation on the bottom because where when you're sleeping on the bottom the more since the heat rises um, you you don't need insulation on the bottom and when you're sleeping on that insulation it it basically decompresses I mean it, it compresses that insulation compresses and when it compresses it doesn't really work it's not really insulating you so why put it there because then it's just a little extra weight for nothing so we so what we do is we don't there's no insulation on uh, five inches on either side of the zipper and then the zipper the zipper um, you place it on the bottom of you like instead of on the side or on the top it's like actually underneath you so I'm gonna show you how it works here here it is like before it's before it's zipped up and and you can use it like this you can actually use it like this in warmer weather like because the reason why that's kind of, that's really good because it's more um, adjustable for ventilation you can if it's not real cold you sometimes you know you can get too hot in a sleeping bag so so when you use it like this you can adjust it um, instead of being completely zipped up where you're the most warmest um, you can kind of like drape it more loosely and let a little air in so in the summer or warmer times of the year that's that's a really good thing to do so I'm gonna zip it up and show you how the zipper works so so there it is zipped up and then um, so how how I would use it would be I would get in I'd put my feet in and um, and then and then you just finish zipping it up like this you just grab the zipper and The difference between the rewilder and the tree hugger model is that um, the the tree hugger. This is the tree hugger, and the tree hugger is organic cotton on both sides, the bo the inside and the outside. And and the the rewilder has merino wool on the inside and a cotton shell on the outside. And uh, so. The rewilder is definitely the way to go for serious backpacking type outdoor adventure things where it's where you're going out there and you really need the performance of the moisture wicking abilities. So you can actually take two Lucky Sheep sleeping bags and you can zip them together, you can and create a couple's bag. So I'll show you how that's done. You lay one down flat, and then you lay the other one on top, and and the zippers are corresponding to each other. So then you just zip. Zip them together like this. Like this. And then zip the other side. And then um, that makes a really sweet couple's bag. And you can 
you can either zip it up or you can you can just leave the the zipper partially like unzipped and you can just tuck this part under you and that and that's that's actually kind of, most of the time that works better than zipping it up it's just because it's uh, easier to get in and out and stuff so that's the couple's bag and then I'm, I'm going to show you the 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 um this is the jumbo the extra wide jumbo size rewilder bag and it weighs an extra pound about an extra pound to be um to be um 35 inches girth instead of no let's see 70 i can't remember um it's 40, so here's the jumbo bag. If you, if you are, this is the jumbo, the Lucky Sheep jumbo size extra wide sleeping bag. A lot of, a lot of people who are um, over six foot tall, sometimes you need that, it, you're also, you know, you need that extra width. So um, just uh, make sure you order the right size for your needs. Thank you for loving nature, loving adventure, loving wool, and supporting lucky sheep sleeping bags. Go wild, go light, go natural. <laughs>